So, a lot of things to say about this solo. Rhythmically, a lot of horn players have an awful lot of trouble playing this. Uh, you've got to work with it with the metronome. So we'll start with the second one, first of all, which is absolutely metronomical. Doesn't change at all. And don't make a crescendo on the D sharp. <laughs> absolutely dreadful. And the second thing is we have to understand how it's written, which means we have to put a very slight accent, very slight accent on the note that is on the second beat, which is always a different one. So we now exaggerate. <laughs> That means that we now understand that it's not which you often get, but we want so it means that the D and the C and the G will be the notes that we're going to accentuate. First thing, got to be able to play that absolutely rhythmically correct. And the first time we will start a bit slower and this is one of the rare solos where we need a bit of staccato. People play staccato when it's quick which is totally unnecessary whereas this one as I for James said Till Spiegel was a little man you got people playing the arse out of these low notes, it's totally ridiculous. It's just a caricature, it sounds like a rhinoceros having a shit on a cold morning or something like that. It's just ridiculous. So forget about that. And the other thing is, no crescendo on the D sharps and no crescendo before the fifth bar. Because you've got people who start doing this sort of thing. And they're already doing a crescendo. There's no crescendo here. There are two accents on the hemiolas, but there's no crescendo. An accent does not necessarily mean a crescendo. It's written quicker, live after. That's all. If you're going to start slow, because there are lots of ways of playing this, you're going to have to get quicker pretty quick. So you can play it like this. And now we're in tempo. And that's it. 